Hi everyone, this is Dawn, and today um, I have a reflection for our young church um, on this upcoming Sunday's uh, gospel reading. So this will be the 23rd Sunday in ordinary time. It's very exciting. Um, and so before I read it, I just wanted to set a little background. And so before Jesus returned to his heavenly father, he promised his disciples that he wasn't going to leave them alone. He told them, I am with you always. And so in today's gospel, the part that we're going to read, it's just part of the gospel in kid-friendly language. We're going to hear Jesus reminding his disciples and all of us that even when a few people are gathered together in his name, he's there with them through the presence of the Holy Spirit and he's listening to their prayers. So that's what we're going to hear Jesus say. So as I read the gospel, you listen for that part, okay? And so today's gospel is from the Gospel of Matthew. So if you have your Bible, you could turn to, or you could later look this up. So you're going to look for the, um, the book of Matthew, and it's chapter 18, and it's just five verses, 15 to 20. So here it is. Jesus said to his disciples, Listen to me. Whatever you accept on earth will be accepted in heaven. And whatever you forbid on earth will be forbidden in heaven. When two of you agree to ask for something, then my Father will answer your prayers. Again I tell you, that when two or three of you meet together in my name, then I will be there with you. That's today's gospel. And so what are some reasons that people pray? So sometimes we pray when we need something and we ask for something for ourselves. Sometimes we pray for someone else, for somebody else's needs. Maybe they're sick or they need something. Sometimes we pray to say thank you to God and for all the wonderful gifts he's given to us. And when we feel that God has answered our prayers, we say thank you. Prayer is a way that we can thank God and tell him that we love him. And so we know it's good to pray on our own, but what are some reasons that we should pray with other people, not just by ourselves? Hmm. Well, we know that prayer brings us closer to God. And so when we pray with other people, Prayer helps us to be closer to those other people because we are together in the Holy Spirit. And that's what Jesus reminds us in our gospel today, the power and how powerful it is when we pray with other people. So what are some times that more than one person gets together to pray? When have you been with other people and prayed? Hmm. Oh, how about when you come to Mass? When you come to Mass, there are many people and you're all praying. Or if you've ever been to a wedding, we pray for the people getting um, married. Or a baptism, we pray for the baby. That's when many people are praying together. And sometimes maybe you're praying as a family. So have you ever said grace before you sit down to eat? So before a meal you say grace? Or maybe at bedtime, your mom or dad come and they say a prayer with you. How else? Have you, have you prayed with other people? Maybe a friend? There's lots of different ways to pray. Sometimes adults, they get together and they have a prayer group where many people meet and they pray for their needs and each other's needs. It's pretty impressive. When we meet to pray, we come together as one family and Jesus joins us with that prayer. That prayer is very powerful because we know that God the Father will answer any prayer offered by many people to, when they pray the same thing. And so when we pray with many people, it looks different at different times. Sometimes we say the same words, like when we come to Mass and we say the Our Father, all of us are praying using the same words. But sometimes we don't have to use words. Sometimes we just sit quietly with a group of people 
and each person talks about what they would like to pray for and their thoughts and their feelings about Jesus. And sometimes we sing our prayers. If you come to church and we sing, we're all singing the same song and that becomes a prayer. Or sometimes just listening to beautiful music with other people becomes a prayer. With all of these different types of prayer, the important thing is that we share them together. And so today, as we finish our reflections, I'll offer our prayer and you can pray together where you are. You can pray with me together. And so you'll just, you can close your eyes if you like or not, either whatever you prefer. And we'll begin in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Loving Father, who knows and loves us so well, listen to the prayers of your children and help us to grow each day into the image of your Son, Jesus. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a great week.